In this video, we're going to add the text, the words planning, calculating, and managing. To add text, we simply select the text tool and all right, there we go. Select the text tool and we left click where we want to begin typing. I want to begin typing very close to where the original P is and the word planning. Whenever you use the, t the uh, text tool, um, when you left click, it will create a new layer. So we see you have layer 6 and we have the, the T that represents the text tool. We will type the word planning. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and type the word calculating. Hit enter again and type the word managing. Now all the text for this flyer is provided uh, within a text file. Let's see, is it on this? Uh, it's not within this group of files, but you'll see it in the assignments on eCampus. Alright, so this is getting kind of convoluted, so I'm going to hide, um, or I'm going to show rather our background layer with the man on it. Anyway, we have the three words. When you're using the text tool, the circle will cancel, so if I click there, that means I don't want to keep what I've already typed. But if I want to confirm and keep what I've, what I've typed already, I'll click the check mark to confirm it. That, hey, this these are the words, letters, etc. that I want to use. Okay, once we do that, I'm going to bring back the photo that I brought in earlier. Alright, to give us some space. <clears throat> well, to make things easier um, in terms of um, appearance. I have a capital P uh, in, the, in the word planning. So to fix that, I uh, simply double click on the T for the layer with those words on it. Um, I click, I hit backspace to get rid of the capital P, and then I type the letter P. And again, I want to hit the check mark to confirm that these are the words that I want to use. All right now, the well, not line height, line height would be web design, but the uh, letting here needs to be adjusted. So I'm going to bring up the character panel by choosing window and then character. You'll notice that the tool options for the text tool gives us some options, but the character panel gives us even more options. And this is uh, the letting and it is, you can see by the diagram, you can adjust the distance between lines of text. So I'm going to start off by clicking the drop down box and choosing 30 points and that's fairly close it's not too bad at all um, I could adjust that more um, but for sake of time I'm not going to go into adjusting more uh, I, show, I will show you another way where you can adjust the letting by clicking and dragging the icon you'll see the value changes now when, when I let go of my left mouse button you see the adjustments will be made at that time. So that's at 13. I click and drag to the right. Uh, this is at 27. 30 seem to be okay. All right. And for for this assignment, 30 is going to be just fine. <clears throat> and that is how you bring in text or type text, and also adjust the distance between lines within text.